Katla was gonna be happy when she sees that. But yeah, it is what it is. Ha ha ha! Hey, hey, hey! Kira. Magnifique. Zaba. Zaba. How do you guys do that? Oh, you do that. So, so first of all, you yeah. hold it by the stem, so you don't transfer your body heat into the the glass okay. and wine, right? Okay. Okay. And then, what you do uh -huh. is, you swirl like that a bit. This is a bit too full, but it should have been low. But because Rano, yeah. it is a drink. There's no clock in or clock out. Not here for a long time, but a good time. I'm here to enjoy your life. I'm not here to suffer. I'm not here to... to... <laughs> so yeah, then right that. Mm -hmm. So then you do that. Mm -hmm. Then you can start by putting it here. Okay. And let all Shit the aroma see. go up your nostrils. Right? So you said you were a squirrel. So you just love it. And a good wine will always have what we call legs. If you look at that glass, I don't know how great this is. Yeah. But it should have legs. It should look like it's dripping. It's a nogarmiti. It shouldn't look like water. Oh, you call that legs. Oh, legs. Yeah. Ooh. Is it leg. running yeah. or walking? <laughs> we <laughs> Please, hey. We try to it be educational. So then you put it. Look at the legs that side. <gasps> then. Then you have to do that. You can also put it here mm. and inhale all the aromas. So whatever flavor you're picking up, it should be fruity. Uh, some wines are a bit acidic. Some mm. are Spice. spicy. Mm. Some are, yeah. Then you take a sip. Which one is this one? <laughs> so you take a sip. You swirl it around your mouth, and then, mm. and then you run it or run your tongue on your on your teeth to you feel the texture, and then swallow. What flavors are you picking up? Wine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, that's today's lesson. I don't. Is what I, is. But this is a. It's a Niederberg double barrel uh 2020 i don't i like i, I don't it's, it's very whiny whiny <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it is what it is hello guys hi <laughs> just today we started good lesson and all that maybe but it should be know. a thing maybe we should maybe do we should do it a thing yeah but yeah we're back again um, back again like we never left last video of the year is it the last video Oh, the year is over, Chief. Oh, no. Also, a lot of YouTubers. Oh, you, you guys can also say it in the comment section. But I'm yeah. sure you've noticed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of the YouTubers or a lot of YouTubers. Yeah, no, but from now onwards, you don't have to... It's... It's, it's got something over. Yeah, that's it's spicy. So the spice. Yeah. But if you have this with your steaks, your... Your ribs, red meat, it goes you're gonna in love there. it, yeah. Mm. So every uh, something that is a bit also, maybe when it is that nice meaty flavor, mm. you're gonna love it. But anyway, yeah, yeah. So mm. what are we talking about? I don't know. Yeah, we'll no, you the YouTubers. Oh yeah, please. so a lot of YouTubers they stop recording around I think the mid December and they'll say we'll come back we'll in come June. Come back in June, yeah. So we also gonna do that. We're gonna take like a three weeks break. And then maybe the second week yeah, Jen, or the first Monday. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> and then, but we'll check the calendar and then we'll For let sure. you guys know on the socials. Remember to follow us on social media at giftmako at kia underscore Valencia. And then, yeah, we'll just touch base there. 
yeah and also thank you for coming back thank you for subscribing for leaving comments and Yo, liking. We, appreciate oh, your we love them we literally love the we we have a session where we'll sit and just read and go through everything yeah, and no, it's, love uh, comments. i love it's, i love it's, i love your comments so much guys yeah so today's video yes it's about 2021 and how we got back together so basically how we got back yeah. together. Or maybe the feeling of getting back together or reconciling or rekindling our relationship. And yeah. It's been... We've known each other for two years now. Mm. Crazy. So we've known each other for two for solid two years solid now. Years. And we're just going to touch on getting back together because... There was a time we reconciled and then somebody <laughs> made a U-turn. <laughs> and then I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, why? We'll get there. We'll get there. But let's um, start then. What yeah. Was... No. So, ah, man, you know, man, me, I always say, you know, this life, there's no yeah. manual, you know? Yeah. Um, but at so... least we've got a man. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. So, so, oh. so, 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 just how it is you'll go yeah. to where you feel maybe it is best and i don't i'll never blame anyone for taking a decision to make sure Horbona, they're okay and they're happy you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. um so maybe one day you will get to hear the story of why we actually broke up maybe maybe not hey yeah that one we're gonna need more <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. but anyway so yeah um we rekindled our relationship when did we rekindle oh no um yeah when did we rekindle in june in june yeah but it wasn't really solid no yeah well it was but we were okay trading. no what happened was um he called to say can we meet up because there are things that i feel like we need to talk about that he didn't get a chance to say to me yeah and for the for some time i contemplated actually doing it Mm -hmm. But uh, there was a huge part of me that wanted to hear exactly his side. You know, I wanted to hear it from no, the horse's mouth. No, you wanted to see me, bro. Come on. Maybe just me. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. So um, it was a it was a back and forth for some time, and then I think I drank wine the day I said that we'll meet up. Yeah, this is wrong. Right. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. When I Not said honestly. that would would meet up, yeah. but I wanted to make it at a public place, but also I didn't want to sit down at a table with him. Why? No, I I didn't want to. You're still too angry. Yeah, I yeah I was very I, I was upset. Okay. I was still very upset, and mm -hmm. I didn't want. And so, we met at spa. Not spa. Not. Sp not sp but it's so far or as far where you buy your bread where you buy your bread bro. yeah so outside of it i was like yeah let's meet up here um he literally he wanted a hug the first time and i liked it was a <laughs> but you did give me a hug i did give you a hug but literally for I me it was two I, seconds when i when i drove into the parking lot and i saw your car there and i was like yeah it's your car like a match <laughs> Because we hadn't spoken about the breakup. At all. The first breakup. At and when all. I say first breakup, I mean us. First and up. last. Yeah, no, thank you very much. I'll drink to that. Ah. Mm -hmm. Drink to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so when I saw your car, yo, I was so nervous, but because I knew what I wanted to say to you. Yeah. And like I said earlier, um, <clears throat> when we made that, I didn't, I, did, I had no hope of trying to get you back yeah but i felt that i, I owed you an apology of yeah. how things ended yeah. you know and that's that's basically what i wanted i wanted to be single for a while but by the way i've never been single for more than a month in my life i don't know the feeling of being single i'm always in 
Yeah, maybe a month is, is yeah, maybe two, two, three months in Yana. But I've, I haven't been. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so when we, when I saw your car, I just knew exactly what I'm going to say to you. And I just wanted to make peace so that we're yeah. cordial. Okay? Yeah. So that we both know um, that we're both okay. Yeah. Because that I didn't mean to hurt your feelings and whatever, whatever, whatever. Even though, <clears throat> time and again, when I would miss you, I would send a text and say, you know, I hope you're good. Oh, but yeah, we and met. And I wouldn't respond. Yeah, no, she would blue tick me. So, but yeah, we, we met that day and I told you what I wanted to say. Basically, what I wanted to say was to say sorry for the way things ended. Yeah. Firstly, and sorry for things ending. Yeah. You know, but... This is my position. This is my stance. I'm not looking for a relationship anytime soon. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that you and I are cool. Yeah. And sisters up here, she was actually the picker. I went into this so prepared to say, you know what? Feelings, heart, mind, let's all be in co like let's Let's be aligned. Let's be aligned yeah. so that there's no matata because I felt like the minute I saw him, if I hadn't mentally prepared myself into of what I was going into, I would, have, would have been weak, me. literally. <laughs> Bible, I'm sure, for sure. So I was really? like, nah, we're going to put the screws in the mouth and we are going to go into this angry. Yeah. I am angry. I am upset. So that's what I went into. And when even when he explained, I wasn't fully satisfied. Sure. I remember you said you, you're gonna sleep on it. And yeah, I wasn't satisfied think about exactly what's being said here. I wasn't satisfied at all, but also for me, it was a thing of I don't want to give him that time of the day to actually think. Yeah, what are we thinking? Uh, there is a chance, although well, there always was a chance. <laughs> I told you, so, you like so me. Shut up. I do shame, yeah. I won't deny. So, I went back home. Um, and you asked if you, we could meet up again. And then I was like, nah, nah, I think something like that. No, you gave me feedback. I did. Like, nah, this is, I spoke to my mom about it. Also, um, this is how I feel about what yeah. we spoke about. And I said that, um, yeah, no, I think a couple of weeks later, like two weeks or three weeks, I sent you a text. In fact, no, I called you and you picked up. Well, um, wasn't it, a, was it weeks? Yeah, like maybe week. I think two weeks. Two really? Weeks max, yeah. And then you were like, uh, no, we can't meet. I get you for whatever reason, I forgot. And then I think two, a couple of days later or a week again later, she sends me a text. She's like, hey, you know, are we going to need wine? And I knew it. That there was reconciliation. <laughs> Um, yeah, so for me, it was just, I think, having to hear what you said, yeah. um, giving your, your, your explanation and just the reason why you came, like, you wanted us to meet up. Sure. Um, but also just seeing you there, like, I wanted to mouth in your arm so bad, but I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm like, literally, you yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Because, I mean, this is a man I've loved from day one of seeing him. Sure. And for me to go through that process of now having to lose him and keep moving, the love was always there. The love was always there, but it was just always hmm, lock it up somewhere. Lock it far yeah. away. Do everything you can to make sure that you don't focus or even think up or yeah. think about him, you know? Yeah. And the best way for me to do that was literally to distance myself because my other fear was that me getting back with him might just be an opportunity for him to take granted what I've done. Sure. And he could just hurt me again knowing that I'll take him back, you know? Mm -hmm. um, because the love is full. The love I have for him is too much. And I didn't want that to be something that he can use mm -hmm. and just hurt me all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, the day came when I was <laughs> for wine. And it, it aligned so well because that day I went to go do hair girl mm. came in with nails uh, and i was like <laughs> yeah i know you're looking fl flipping snails yeah. but again i like when when i saw you because i didn't see as often as yeah. I, I would have loved to i always found you attractive and it's like oh she looks so good yeah. she looks so good whatever sharp 
and then we decided to you came over i came over you came over so that night i think one thing that stood out is that we spoke we were so open with one another yeah with each each other's feelings yeah and the most important thing you asked if we could pray and we literally kneeled down and i remember i cried tears and you cried <laughs> to God so that they our relationship is protected and it's protected and there's more protection to our relationship and it just grows. Yeah. Yeah, that part just stuck in my head. Um and then yeah, it's I don't know, but afterwards um I don't know if I'm moving too fast here, but mm -hmm. afterwards you you we spoke and then you played a certain song and that song is became our song That's and then sure. and then you drank the night away, you know? And yeah. then was it a week or two later? But throughout this whole time, guys, sure. I had to keep it a secret from my mom. Like, I would go out, but I'd lie about where I'm going. Because, like, <laughs> um, I shared a whole lot of yeah. what happened the last time with my mom. Yeah. So I figured that there might just be there a whole lot of reservations and animosity. and animosity and weird feelings that I didn't want because also I'm still trying to figure out yeah. what's happening, you know? Mm. So I just it, kept in, it in all fairness, sorry to interject. In all fairness, I think your mom and your little sister were in the right. You know? Yeah. I mean it's not that they were angry because they don't like me, but they were angry because I hurt your feelings yeah. about with the yeah. breakup and whatever and we didn't talk we didn't talk so, but also i didn't speak with them either literally it was them me telling them what happened and, and we closed it sure. i don't want to talk about it further so i didn't even know how they felt you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. but i just took it upon myself to say maybe my mom is going to feel this way so let me just not say until i know exactly what's happening yeah. um so yeah no we are slowly but surely getting there yeah and then we are almost there actually i think and then um i went there was a day my friend had a party yeah yeah i went to the party but also there was just been a whole lot of noise from the outside people telling me don't go back yeah don't go back and that left me i won't lie very scared to say everybody mm. else it was saying, overwhelming don't. Yeah, yeah it was so overwhelming and everybody saying don't go back and I'm like, you know what? I, this is too much for me. Literally, this is too much because also I'm I'm not certain. I'm not sure if I really want to do this. I'm not sure if I'm ready to forgive or I'm not even sure if I, I can forget, you know? Mm -hmm. So that all those, like just seeing him sometimes, I'd like, t it would take me back where I'd get scared, where I'm, I'm, I'm hurt still and I'm angry. So I was like, ah, nah, you know what, dude? I sent him a text on a Sunday morning yeah, and I just explained where i stand and how i feel yeah right and you know what the night before <clears throat> we were supposed to spend time together but something happened yeah and we couldn't spend time together yeah <clears throat> and then you just literally just disappeared on me and you said i'm going home i'm not coming over and then i was like okay cool i don't think even i i don't think no. i replied or something. no you didn't no i um, called you to say that i'm not coming i'm going home okay cool. you're like oh, okay sharp <gasps> i was like <laughs> like <laughs> yeah I was like, okay. So the next morning, I did send him a text. And it was, guys, it was a long text. It wasn't that long, but it was just me explaining everything and how I'm feeling and where I stand. And I'm expecting him to maybe say, okay, come, let's talk. What, wait, what did you say on the message? Oh, baby, it was long. I don't even remember. One thing I remember you said to me, this is too much for me. I don't think this relationship deserves to be rekindled or something like that. And I... Uh, like it's too much i don't think yeah this is what i want or this is what you want yeah. something like that yeah and then yeah and then he replies do you want to say what you said no <laughs> guys i get a text back all the best full stop <laughs> there was that i mean when someone says they don't want you in their life because you've hurt their feelings the best you can do for yourself and them is to respect it and say, okay, cool. You want things to be done that way? Cheers. But I think also <clears throat> a huge part of me was, was it wasn't a test. It wasn't a test, 
but I wanted to also see if you're willing to fight for us. Oh, okay. And when I got all the base, literally I was like, nah, there's nothing here because of yeah. if he did say the things that he meant, yeah. then he would be here today, yeah. you know? I really so, thought about also replying that paragraph. You know how you guys yeah. send a long... Um, you write a whole book and whatever, and I was like, I, it's it's pointless because I know you and I trust your judgment. Yeah. So if you make a decision on something so big that we prayed on, yeah. Then I have to believe that you know what you're doing. Yeah. So that's why I said, you know what, all the best because <laughs> you deserve the best. Yeah. And at least now you are with the best. <laughs> oh my oh God! God. God. This oh. is why. And then, um, I think a week passed or two weeks. Yeah, I think it was just I was, under 10 Guys, days. I was single for a week or so. And then on a Sunday, he, he texted me on a Sunday because I was at my grandmother's. He yeah. texted and said, where are you? And I said, no, I'm at my grandmother's. He's like, like, no, I texted in the morning. Yes, in up. the morning. And I saw and I it. said, I miss you or something like that. Yes. I said, you know what? I miss you or something like that. Yeah. And then you missed. You blue ticked me. In fact, it was I message. I message. And then, in the evening, I went out with my friend. The night, yeah. The night I oh, oh let's it, yeah. It, from who? No, it's not. Let's not touch. <laughs> but but I went out with my friend, and then I I was just overwhelmed, and I just wanted to see you, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I need to go get my woman. You know, whatever happens, whatever she says to me, I just need to go get her. Yeah. And I texted you, where are you? And you said, I'm at my grandmother's, I'm driving home. Mm. And then as soon as you got home, you sent me a text or something like that. Mm. No, you called again. Yeah. And then you were like, have you arrived home? Mm. And I was like, no, no, not yet. But truthfully, I was home. Yeah. <laughs> I got home already. Yeah. And then you're like, can I come see you? But you kept pestering to mm. when we actually sent you the location. And then you came and he was so angry, guys. He was... He was, I would, the tone I got, he was so, he was pissed. He was like, mm, mm. He was so you know affirmative. When you, you know when you, when you feel like you've exhausted all your options and all you have to do is just get there, be firm, be brief with what you want and what you want to say. Um, because I wasn't in the mood for your story, say. Eh? Because. To this day! To this day! We, we literally did everything that night and I thought that everything was all good. And then you were like, I think I kissed you or something. And, oh yeah, I think I kissed you and you hugged me and said, what took you so long? <laughs> oh, my heart, guys. <laughs> was vulnerable my body was weak you know what come, so come you get your COVID, love? no i think you gave me COVID. Nah, i still say no okay but whatever you know, yeah it's, but, it's whatever but so yeah after that after that i have COVID. He had and COVID. now i have a girlfriend yeah. that i love and i would we literally just reconciled and now i have COVID. Yeah. Literally tested positive two days after we reconciled. Yeah. And yo, I, 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 I was a nervous wreck because I could see his health deteriorating so bad. He was. Oh. <laughs> Quite a big word, oh, eh? Even on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, I, I. All the time, constantly, I'm at home and I don't even, I didn't tell my mom. My mom didn't know. Yeah. So I'm worried. And, and you keep coming And here. I keep coming. Literally, guys, I would drive in and out, in and out. I think maybe there's days where I'd come, leave, and then come back again yeah, just to yeah, check yeah. if you're fine. Because I couldn't go home. Yeah. I couldn't go see my mom. Yeah. I couldn't see my yeah. daughter. I, I couldn't see anyone. Anybody. I was literally at home watching TV, alone. playing FIFA. And, creating and then content. also your mental state also got yeah, no, a bit I was, of At that time, yeah, I was, I was, so, my no. mental state was all over the place. But And I was seeing the psychologist. So luckily, we, we still had Zoom meetings with the for lady. Sure. And she helped out a lot. And also to prepare me for our relationship. Yeah. We had that lengthy chat. Really? Yeah, we had a lengthy chat. Sure. And then, yeah, you, yeah, Rikia literally nursed me from the day I caught COVID to the last day. Also, 
ngwana wa bathu usukile covid usukile and then yeah because there were times where i couldn't do so many things like cook and do and i'm a very hands on person but yeah. i couldn't do that stuff for all but anyway ever since she came back to my life i literally can't do anything because it doesn't give me chance to even do my um i don't know how your mom is going to feel about this but i don't even get a chance to do my own laundry anymore because literally to keep up the pain which one is this one <laughs> you know but i'm really grateful for that because obviously since we also reconciled i've been very busy yeah with work and yeah. with side hustle yeah. with content creation many other stuff so yeah. if you hadn't come back to my life or i hadn't come to fetch you then probably things wouldn't be as they are, as now. They are but now. but yeah that's yeah. just how we got back together yeah. um i'm glad i'm and glad we things turned out that way and we've been going out together we went on our proper first date together, together. we went to grow and i'm actually guys I'm, I'm i'm i have a partner this time around the first time around sometimes it felt like i'm relationshiping by myself yeah right? no well so I got to see a different side of him. I got to experience so much with him. Yeah. And it was always like literally I'm shocked every time something happens because I'm like <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Which one is this one? <laughs> mm. You know, but we even did bungee jumping. We did bungee literally I said, babe, I wanted to do bungee I was like, I wanna do bungee jumping. He's like, Okay, let's go. So yeah, Saturday. Then we did I was it. like what? Yeah, we did yeah. bungee jumping, we flew to Cape Town. We had our vacation again in yeah, Durban. Yeah. So, we attended okay. a couple of events here and there. We're still going to do ice skating. Like yeah, we we're do. not going ice skating. Yeah, Thank you very much. Hey, he's not Nick Shaw. <laughs> but, but yeah, we we pretty much did, did. But yeah, and then we now have a YouTube channel together. Come on, yeah, man. Instagram Come channel on. Together. In just a few months. Yeah. Um, so yeah. just imagine in the years, bruh. Yeah. No, nah, what years? Yeah, the years for, to come. In forever. Yeah, but ah, I'm just a nah. baby. Don't, don't sleep just, on the job. We are waking here. Chiffy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's just how we got back together. Uh -huh. Um, one thing I will tell anybody out there: literally, there will be a whole lot of noise coming from the outside, but it just it needs you to sit down reflect speak to yourself and actually see what is there for you you know mm -hmm. because i mm -hmm. decided to take a chance on love again i decided to go back because i knew that i loved oh and, preach sister don't forget uh, to put the money in the basket i decided to go for love and love was given back this time around so don't just give up easily that's for sure what i will say yeah. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing, for liking and leaving the comment. Mm -hmm. um, continue on doing so for sure. Keep continue on doing so. And we promise that in the next in the next year or next year, we definitely gonna bring the game up. We upgraded to a better camera oh, now. I'm sure uh, you can say. <laughs> oh, the pose. Yeah. So we 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 really grateful for this and. We we hope that that next year us together, Ronald and Ronald will do even a young meetup, whatever meet and Ooh, that would be nice. Whatever, like, like uh, even yeah. if it's two people that show up, that's fine. Ah, know. come on, we'll have a bride. Yeah, but but yeah, thankfully we reconciled, we got back together, yeah. and I'm at my best. I'm happy. I don't want anything. Even my friends uh, did say that you are happy and you are, we want to see you in mm. person and whatever. You're stunning. You even look good, eh? Have you seen yourself, baby? Yeah, back to regular programming. <laughs> but but yeah, we yeah we're both happy. I'm happy. Um, and um, I hope that in the next year is gonna be a proper solid year yeah. for us. That is beautiful, and it brings also beautiful things that you guys can witness. Cheers, Cheers to, to that. To forever. Cheers to that, love. Yeah. Cheers. But for now, we thank you. Yeah. And we love you too. Yeah. So goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, goodbye. my friend. You have been the word. You have been the word for me. Okay, now I'm done. Yeah, but cheers, guys. Follow us on Instagram. Let's keep up on those stories, those posts, and whatever. And yeah. Cheers. We love you.
Merry Christmas and have, have a Christmas. prosperous New Year. Oh yes, with money. Ooh, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> you love it, don't you? <laughs>